What's up, everybody? It's 8.35 a.m. I know that's a little different on this channel. Normally, I'm recording in the afternoon or I'm recording late at night, but today, I decided on something different. It's almost the new year. I figured, you're up in the morning, stay up. What better, right? What better way to do it? So, I'm here starting the day at 8.30. I'm drinking my espresso. I put butter in it because I didn't have any uh, milk or creamer. I didn't have sugar, so I put frozen blueberries in the bottom of it. But hey, it worked. I uh, you want to see the bag here? I went ahead. I bought 20 super potions and 30 great balls to prepare for today's episode. To prepare for an exceptional episode today, we got some battles. We got a bunch of encounters. Might even get at least one gym off. So here's the team recap for the moment. We got Anderson, the mayor, uh, primate. Great attack, great speed. Crap ability, Fury Swipes, Karate Chop, Low Kick, and Focus Energy. We've got Star Lord here, level 33, coming in strong, now holding an amulet coin that I found. Shed Skin ability, Wish, Psychic, Rest, and Swift. we got Bob here, Levitating Bob, awesome special defense and speed. Acid Supersonic, <laughs> Bullet Seed, Dragon Breath. Here we caught in Rock Tunnel. This was our encounter, which is incredible. I was eating cinnamon Altoids at the time, so named my Moltres Altoid. He's tracing, which will make for some interesting battles. He's got incredible special attack, dude. Incredible special attack. Wing attack, Ember, Fire Spin. Accidentally taught him Comet from the Move Tutor, but I wasn't really going to give it to anybody anyway. Uh, We've got Godzilla here, Compound Eyes, Spectacular Defense, Metal Claw, Will-O-Wisp, Mud Slap, and Headbutt. Bear with me, I am waking up. we got Darkest Larry out here, Soundproof Ability, uh, evolving about 8 levels, or maybe at 30. Teetle, Teetle? No, that says Tackle and Needle Arm, not Teetle. Tackle, Needle Arm, Thunder Shock, and Thunder Wave. And that is the team right now, which is freaking stacked. we got, I mean... We've got an answer for dark, we've got an answer for grass, we've got an answer for water, we've got an answer for ground. We've got an answer for steel, we've got an answer for rock, we've got an answer for flying, dude. We, I cannot think of Pokemon that wall us right now. Um, is this a new route? Yes it is. Alright, hold on. Before I throw my old rod, I can go get the super rod, or the one of the rods. That's a new TM. Good thing we stopped, y'all. Scary face. I don't need it. I don't need it, but I'll take the money. Oh, dude, we can go to Celadon as well, to the market. This is a very exciting episode. A lot of items here. A lot of Pokemon here. The Nuzlocke really gets broken open wide. 3-4. Oh, my heart is going out. Here comes my Altoid. What in the F? Articuno has Blaze? That's funny. Um, okay, that's fine. It was risky keeping him in against an electric type. Gotta be more cognizant of your type matchups. Fishing is a waiting game. Nope, that's the worst person I could have in. Oh, that's not what I want to do. <sighs> totally just first waking up here, if you're tuning in. Bear with me. There we go. Lily? Uh, grass rock? There we go. There we go. High crits on those. That's awesome. Cop Thomas, disguised as a fisherman. Dude, we're getting all the battles in. So, yeah, team's looking good. Get a double battle here. Maybe I can't. No, I can't get the super rod till after I move Metagross. Metagross till after I move Snorlax. All 
All right, we're good. I love Nuzlocke. It's so fun and challenging. It's so fun. Who should go in Star Lord? Do, 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 do. God, Psychic just is that strong. <coughs> That's still gonna kill. Not even worried about it. Cop Tia, lol. I'm going to go into this double battle with Bob and Altoid. I feel like it's a great combination. <laughs> Tenac floating Tentacruel on the ground and a Moltres flying around. Ended up actually, actually being a great choice. Oh, I do like that acid hits both of them. All right, we have a clean house. Let's get encounters. And I can get the coin case, but then I, I gotta buy a bunch of coins if I'm gonna try and buy a Pokemon today. But I got a bunch of money, so maybe, I'll, maybe I can't. It's just, it's just so many trainer battles open up here, and then levels really open up. I mean, if I had, if Jirachi wasn't a legendary, he would even be a higher level. Like, it just takes him that long to level up as a legendary. And he's still level 33. So we've got all these battles over here to the side. I don't. I think I might need to grab. All right, uh, go to Star Lord. We're a high enough level he can take it. Yep, that was fine. Now next, the season, do it again. That's I'm gonna go to Godzilla this time. Let's see, the explode is actually does a quarter of the damage against Godzilla, whereas it does half the damage against. Um, Jirachi, as far as tight matchups. So Godzilla actually is an incredible wall to self-destructs and explosion. For, it, for them, then they do 20, what is it? It's 150, so they do 37 and a half damage to him. Absol is such a cool Pokemon. That was another one of my little brother's favorites when we were kids. That's nothing. Excuse me for being low on the commentary. Like I said, trying out an early morning recording here, just waking up still. Do I have someone with cut right now? Oh, uh, Helga has it. Um, no, let's go ahead and do a quick swap to get an encounter. I still do have backup mods. Apom, all right. The Apom evolution is not in this game. 
Try one more time. Shouldn't kill, and it should get a paralysis off. He has baton pass, though. I wouldn't mind setting up with that. And then we're setting up with him and then using baton pass. That's not a bad, not a bad game at all. I'm gonna name him. I'm gonna name it Jane. There's a guy named Tarzan. So that's just how that works. Yo, I'm so excited for Kingdom Hearts. Oh my god, I'm so excited for Kingdom Hearts. Could have had Hariyama. I love Kingdom Hearts so much. They're finally, it's finally coming back. The third one is going to be so good. It looks really good. It comes out like January 20th, so like 23 days. It's currently December 28th. Also, Jane Goodall studied chimpanzees. They found a water stone. They found some really, uh, some really interesting things. Like they did. I mean, obviously, she studied them for a really long time. So, um, but being a biology major, I've come in contact with a lot of different books and papers written that specifically reference things that were observed in their campsites and like ideas that other people who study prime apes prime apes yeah I'm thinking yeah prime ape it's the Pokemon oh they didn't study prime apes though but they studied apes and chimpanzees like one in particular was <coughs> it's not my thing. Um, the competition over food, and I guess like in the wild with chimpanzees, there isn't an enormous amount of competition for food. And they, the book I was reading where they were talking about this was trying to find justification for violence in humans, like war, and at the pause. And so, like, in a hunter-gatherer, when you're just, like, picking as you go, and, like, the land is a lot more fruitful with animals, and if you're a skilled hunter, or you're related to a skilled hunter, or, where, you know, in the tribe of a skilled hunter, you can get access to food pretty easily, berries and things that just grow, that you can, you know, you know what to eat, you can finally eat them. Um, so they were trying to, like, look at chimpanzees, where food is like that plentiful like a hunter gatherer and there was less like competition not a lot of like violence and aggression between chimpanzees and then when they would at specific times offer a limited amount of food chimpan like to chimpanzees around the campsite um they began to realize it would show up and then a lot would show up and then more would show up than their food than what they had to offer and then they noticed like very intense aggression. So they were trying to compare that to, it was an extrapolation to like agriculture, like the introduction of agriculture, how that was similar to like a limited amount of food in a specific area, in a specific period of time to humans. The book was called Sex at Dawn. So it's, I mean, definitely it's not really like a PG topic, Pokemon. Hoo-hoo, yay! Um, but that bar, that particular section was on trying to find uh, evidence for war and violence in humans. Basically a whole book on relating us to on trying to find the ancient like the most ancient written records in humans comparing also to like hunter-gatherer societies that live today and considering them traditional societies and then also our closest uh, evolutionary 
one of these. So that was a little bit of a science rant there. Uh, the book can do it a lot more justice than me. I was kind of struggling, making sure I was sipping coffee every few sentences to get things sharp. But Christopher Ryan, Dr. Chris Ryan, that's who wrote it. Also has a podcast. What am I going to name this? Pearl Vision. <laughs> Hopefully it'll fit. If it won't, I'll just make it Pearl. I think Pearl, the company, is spelt with an E on the end of this, but just for the sake of making it fit. Oh, that's not going to fit. <laughs> oh, what am I? Yep, forgive me, I normally am asleep at this time. Like, usually I wake up early in the morning and I'm up between like, for like a little bit, like maybe seven to eight. And then I go back, usually we'll go back to sleep. Like 7.30 to like nine, and then I'll go back to sleep to like 10.30, maybe 11. I'm a night owl. I usually stay up late. Ooh, he's already at level 25. Drought's nice. I can set up a uh, set up Moltres, but that Moltres is water. I don't really need it. But we got a backup mon there. We got backup mons now for everything. Almost. We got a backup water, we got a backup psychic, God forbid. God forbid. We got a palm who is going to be a good setup mod. Will definitely be a good setup mod down the road. We got a backup fire, we got Helga, and now Pearl. Uh, I do need Helga back. Yep, next up, Encounter. Ooh, I love Murkrow. That's not going to kill you. It's great special defense. Dude, I love Murkrow. Cool. Uh, I'm going to name it Black Widow. Speaking of Black Widow, I need to watch the new Avengers. Double battle. Alright, not too worried about that. Cool beans. My thing is like, he doesn't need it. You know, like he's wing attack now. I'm gonna get rid of rest and I'm gonna teach him to fly. And I can always move delete. Maybe that wasn't the best idea. 
because I can't get to the move tutor. No, that's fine. I can get to the move tutor after Cinnabar because he's on one of the first three islands in this game. The yeah. That leaves me wish. In case, all right, my phone's not with me to level up. Well, okay. Depending on any move he gets, something else. I'm not gonna get rid of psychic for him, even for future sight. I think he learns future sight. He learns doom desire, which is also like a future sight, but steel. And I'll probably get rid of Swish for that and then keep Wish. Because a Wish Shed Skin combo is too dead. It's too good. He'll last the whole game with that. And then Fly just takes advantage of the fact that he has really high attack and it's like my highest attacking move right now. Because he has awesome attack and I'm not really even seeing it. I just saw it with Swift. But now I have Fly. And then I don't, that means I don't have to go to Moltres to use that move. And Moltres is going to learn other flying attacks. Okay, uh, he doesn't evolve either in this game. Oh no, his special defense is not high. That's a. Uh, his evolution. Alright, well, I mean, Godzilla is on my team, let's be real. But, I like the options in this Nuzlocke. I mean, I'm digging it. Here a little bit. Keep the coin case until I have uh, played this game a few times. Do you give me leftovers? No. I don't think they don't get out of it. Yeah, but they don't give you anything. It's in here. Oh, the hotel, and then there used to be the in the OG Pokemon Red and Blue. There's a phantom computer in the corner. Oh, I can, get, uh, I can get an encounter right here. Ooh, a Rathon! But, level 5. Should've used this. We well, should've waited for the next rod, but... Rampage for that game, Rampage. Dude, best thing though, that you guys are up with me. So, I know it's been a quiet 23 minutes. I'm going to explore the, the market, see what TMs are there. Those are going to be randomized. Um, but dude, it's great. You stuck it out with me? Now it's 9 in the morning out here in Florida, and dude, the day is young. I don't go into work until 4.45 tonight, which means I'll be the last cut, so I'll probably get a lot of tables, and ooh, water pulse. Is that better than bubble beam? Oh, it's hot. It's five less, but it can confuse instead of lower speed. But he, he's fast too. I'd rather have the confusion. And then supersonic, I'll get rid of probably for him. For probably surf. Unless he gets something else cool. He's got a lot of cool moves.
This I bought for Bob. Then, does she still give me TMs? Yep. Oh, and they aren't light screen anymore. Man, I remember in the first game it was like Ice Beam, Rock Slide, and like Try Attack or something. Crush Claw. That's awesome. Got a head from earlier. That is terrible. Raises attack, but confuses. That'd actually be a good play for Godzilla. Metal Claws knife. Having the, the ground move <coughs> is good. No, he doesn't need it. I just don't use that move much, but mirror move is interesting. And I know Swift has that beautiful accuracy. Oh, it's not even that much. More. It's only 15 more. How much more is that than headbutt? Five? No way. I guess that's the best person to give it to and get rid of Fury Swipes. And then lower their defense, which just makes him way stronger. Alright, that was a fun adventure. Oh, I do need to still give somebody cut, though. Oh, blah, blah, blah. The move Erasers oh, in Celadon, right? Not Celadon. Whatever this one is. I'm pretty sure the move Erasers here. Spiderweb? We already had Spiderweb. Sticky web, whatever it is. I'm just checking to see if the move erasers are in here. Cannot stand the accuracy on dynamic punch, so I'm not even bothering. Okay. Alright, we're at 29 minutes. I know it's been a quiet episode, y'all. Um, somebody needs to get deposited for a little bit. Deposit primate. I just don't want to waste anybody anyone's moves, any moves for cut. Uh, I love my team right now, so it's just not necessary. He's got to change out. There we 
There we go. Oh man, it makes it so difficult. Oh, come on. Oh man, oh and he does it again. There we go. Got rid of it. Oh, that's a sweet coon. Try out my new water pulse. Well, the rain dances up. There we go. Quilava. Oh, dude, we got like all fire types now. Fire bitch day. Fire bitch day. Bob's cleaning up. My car go fast. Just shout out original 151, dude. Hello, Jirachi. Versa Jirachi. Oh, I still did have Swift when that was going on. Oh, that one does have shed skin. I was wondering. <sighs> oh, that was a good move by him. Alright, so we're going to finish off with the gym today. And then I'm going to wake up a little bit more. And maybe I'll record again. Maybe I'll record again. I'll be a little lot more lively. But if you like some just quiet Pokemon, just some Nuzlocke, some sped up Nuzlocke gameplay, here we are. That's the specialty today. I think I'm going to go get a workout in today. Ooh, after this, go down to the, go down to the Baileys near me. I'm going to do some, some dumbbells, some upper body dumbbells, maybe some lunges. Get on the hack squat machine. Get in the sauna for a while. Finish out with some cardio, some rowing. <sighs> mm. There we go.
There we go. I think he hits Thunder Punch very soon, or Thunderbolt, one of the two. They're pretty much the same move. Second, where's that moo moo milk? Moo moo milk. Awesome. And goodbye. Tell you what, as soon as this I beat this gym, I'm about to plug in my phone. I'm about to listen to some super loud music. What's up, Mew? Get amped. I'm about to put on probably Wi Fi's funeral, put on some fortunate youth. Now I gotta deal with this fight again. Oh, come on, just one more time. Just swift. Alright. And then. Yeah, and then. That's it, do a little laundry. Once I get the clothes running, hit the gym, come back, get more done, go to work, make some money. Sounds like a good day to me. Oh, he's water absorbed. So she went to him because he has water absorbed? That's crazy. But I have dragon breath. I'm anticipating a potion. Hold that off. Okay. Oh, I lost Bob. So much investment. Alright, we need to just go to Star Lord to take this out. Should have done that in the first place. I wanted it to be a good battle, though. But we just need Star Lord to spam. Oh well, it's part of the nose lock. We're gonna get more. That's cool. All right, we're gonna get more encounters. I've got more water Pokemon. In fact, I'm gonna go to the gym right now. Dude, that's, it's, I swear, it's the, it's that shell bell. E literally everything that I've had, I've had to put in the death box has been holding the shell bell. We've got Sandy here to replace the water. Oh, he has huge power. That actually is really cool. It's not going to have that. So, there we are. We've got a Lavender Town encounter to still get. Next episode, we've got the Team Rocket stuff. Uh, we'll go take on the fighting gym and get a static encounter there. The fifth gym is Koga. What's it say? <coughs> I think that's how it's supposed to be. The fifth gym's Koga. The sixth gym is Saffron. The seventh blade. Hooey, hooey. Oi, oi, oi. 9 15 in the morning. Hey. Change happens over time. Start before the new year. Thanks y'all for tuning in. See you next time.